Hi everyone. Today we are going to continue with the address resolution protocol that we studied in the previous video. So in today's video we are going to study some terms related to ARP or the address resolution protocol. Now the first one is reverse ARP. What is reverse ARP? It is a protocol that is used in local area networks or LANs by client machines. So in a client server architecture, the reverse ARP is used by the client machines within a local area network for, for requesting the IP address which is usually the IP version 4 from routers ARP table. So it is used for requesting the IP address from the routers ARP table and this request is made by the client machines and in what kind of a network in a local area network. So whenever a new machine which comes and then requires an IP address for its use, in that case the machine sends a reverse ARP or a RARP broadcast packet containing the MAC address in the sender and receiver hardware field. Next is your proxy ARP. Now what is proxy ARP? This protocol works to enable devices that are separated into network segments. That means you have different different network segments and you have devices separated into those network segments. So to enable such devices which are connected through the router in the same internet protocol to is resolve the issues of IP address to MAC address. So to resolve the issue of uh, mapping or translating the IP address to MAC address uh, for enabling the devices which are basically separated into different ne network uh, segments and then connected through routers again in a local area network as it is the desired router to which broadcast is addressed. So in case when the sender receives the MAC address of the proxy router which will be sent to the destination device. So the third and last term related to ARP is the inverse ARP. So inverse ARP is a protocol that uses MAC address to find the IP address. It is the inverse of ARP basically. The name itself says inverse ARP because you know that in case of ARP you map the IP address to the MAC address. That is with the help of the IP address you find the MAC address. So inverse ARP is just the inverse of ARP. That means this particular protocol is finding the MAC address sorry this particular protocol is using the MAC address to find the IP address which is just the opposite of ARP and it can be simply illustrated as the inverse of ARP hence it is also known as inverse ARP right because it is just the opposite or inverse of ARP. Uh, usually in ATM networks, ATM networks you know are the asynchronous transfer mode networks inverse ARP is used by default. And inverse ARP helps in finding the layer 3 address that is the network layer addresses from the layer 2 addresses that is from the data link layer addresses.